In this tutorial, I'm going to show you that how just by thinking creatively, you can turn this image here into this image here. Let's dive right in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in to creative and we're going to take the sky replacement and we're going to take sky selection wood custom sky this time instead of taking in the sky we're going to bring in a background click open next we're going to take the horizon blending down horizon position down as well we are then going to get into advanced settings defocus the sky ever so slightly just so that it will get emphasis on the snow border around there i'm quite happy with close that next I'm going to take sun rays. So I'm going to take that over there, down to around there. Looking good so far. Next thing, I'm going to create a new layer. This new layer is a new image layer. And for the first layer, we're going to take the snow grey. Once that drops in, we're going to change the blend mode. And we're going to change the blend mode to overlay which you can see is quite subtle. I'm also going to change the opacity and pull that back. Again, we're going to repeat the same process. Add new image layer. This time I'm going to add the snowfall. For this one, I'm going to transform the layer and then click done. Then we have to blend this. So I'm going to go in this time to screen. And you can see that the snow here is covering the snowboarder's face. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that back slightly in the opacity yet again. We are then going to edit the mask just to remove some of the snow from his face. This time we're going to use a radial mask just about there and then close the mask. The reason I did that is so that there is still some snow passing his face. Next, I'm going to create a new stamped layer. Now that we have the stamped layer, we can go back in and edit this. So I'm going to push the AI structure. I'm also going to go into AI Enhance, the Sky Enhancer, AI Accent. Next I'm going to get into Creative and I'm going to choose a lot. Default setting is 30. So here we have the before and here we have the after. Instead of replacing the sky, we've replaced the background with an image. Hopefully that lets you see that by just thinking a little differently and using the tools to your advantage how you can create entirely new images. Explore the software, enjoy the software and have fun with the software.